Coin Ops Legends 2 Max here. You have, uh, they call it the Max because you need a little bit more horsepower to run this one. It's uh, Coin Ops Legends 2 with a few little fixes and things, but some really cool games. For example, a lot more console games. You even have a PlayStation 3 game. So that's why I say you need a little bit nicer of a computer to run this one, but you're going to get a ton more games. N64, uh, Mario Kart Double Dash. You even have some Sega Model 2 games on here already set up for you. On top of all that, you have some really cool games that you can't find anywhere else. Or, like, you have to, you know, build your own image, which would be um, Super Mario HD. So, that is the Super Mario, the HD version of Super Mario uh, 64, which is really cool. And then, uh, for Daphne, you actually have the enhanced versions of Space Ace and Dragon's Lair. So, and then here's your PlayStation 3 game, the Afterburner Climax, which runs really well if you have a decent computer. So, what I wanna do in this video is just show you what the differences are, let's do a little walkthrough, show you some of the features and things, and then we'll play some games. So here it is, when it's all said and done, uh, it's about 74 files. Um, it's like 50 gigabyte download, once you extract it, you're rocking uh, probably 60. Uh, wow, it expands quite a bit. Oh boy. 100, 111, 111 gigabytes when it's all said and done. Remember, you can absolutely run these on a thumb drive. You can put them on your main hard drive or put them on thumb drive and, and, and rock it wherever. So when you open it, this should all look familiar to you. If you're not used to this, this is how CoinOps looks. Any of these will uh, launch the CoinOps front end. Uh, the one I'm going to be playing with the most is Legends, uh, the genres, because it's it's it really sorts the games out really well. If it's your first time using CoinOps, don't forget to go ahead and click, make sure you installed all these fixes, uh, if not working. And then one of the greatest things about CoinOps is all these bat files over here, or batch files. And um, what this does is a one click will, actually, will do all these things. So you can ch change your bezels, background music enable, disable. Um, glass effects in the games, scan lines, shutdown button, things like that. Um, looks like there's even a 60 uh, Super Mario 64 HD widescreen or a retro arch to sw maybe switch between the two. So I haven't really played with that one yet, but it's just crazy how they've thought of everything here. Um, something I was looking at earlier is they have the character. Yeah, playlist characters auto hide. This is really cool. Um, where I can now go here. Let's go ahead and boot up coin ops. But uh, you can see in the emulators here, the big differences here is they have uh, some PS2 games. They have that Super Mario 64 HD game here. It does have Street Fighter 4, um, you know, some Pinball, some Outrun 2006, and then the Daphne Enhanced games, and then the PlayStation 3 game uh, Afterburner Climax. So uh, those are going to be your, your biggest differences. And they actually wrote it all in here as well. So um, you have all these add-ons here. You see that there? Let's zoom in a little bit. Those are going to be your biggest changes to CoinOx, CoinOps, CoinOx? Uh, CoinOps uh, Legends uh, Mac, 2 Max. And um, so five more N64 games, seven more Dreamcast games, Game & Watch, GameCube. You have the, uh, the, the Mario Kart Super Dash. Um, with the um, Sega Model 2, you get all this. If you want to do like light guns and stuff, you can absolutely install uh, some of the light gun games for Sega Model 2. You just got to drag and drop the ROMs. Um, and then, so it ends up being 520 games. If you were looking at the previous mod versions, it, it was um, like 400 something, I believe. Um, exactly. The max edition will require additional CPU, GPU. So if you if if you want to take advantage, like to play GameCube, you need a pretty decent computer to pay play Ultra Street Fighter Four, to play um, uh, Sega Model Two. You know these do require uh, usually a dedicated graphics card of of some kind. Uh, anyways, the uh, README is, is is pretty standard on most builds. Um, the the you know join their Discord. They're very very helpful there. They're very friendly. Um, the one thing I did want to do is um, change the theme because I like um, I, I like the car I like the marquee and the cabinet theme. So th there's also these themes here. You got the spinner theme, horizontal. You can move. This. So this is like how the menu system is going to work for you. Um, so here we go. And then fast is just going to make things uh, when you're scrolling between games and things move a lot faster. So let's do the marquee and cab. 69 right marquee and cab. All right, let's try that out. 
So to boot, when we first showed you this video earlier in the video, that was all the horizontal. Oh yeah, this is what I'm talking about. So you can see I put the character on this. And um, when you switch categories, you get the little character on the left there. But once you're in the game and you're scrolling, he auto, he or she or whatever auto hides. So that, that was something I did earlier in the video. I put character auto hide. You can turn the little character off. Look at that. How cool is that, man? You can turn the core character off, but uh, I kind of like it. I think it's pretty cool. So anyways, you're like, oh, it's blocking the view. Well, just move the game. Just wait a second. It'll auto hide. Um, and there you go. So I like this view a lot. It's one of my favorite views. You get to see the cabinet and everything else. So let's look at the categories really quick. You got all your favorite games. By the way, if you want to toggle a favorite or unfavorite, like let's say I don't like 1944, I can hit start right here. And that should uh, unfavorite it. So Alien Syndrome, start. It's it's out of there now. Alien vs Predator, hit start. It's gone, right? So it, it untoggled it as my favorite. You got your last played games. You got all your arcade games. 443. If you look in the lower right corner here, you can see all the arcade games. You have then, um, these are all arcade games too, but just the old school arcade games. You got 142. Beat em ups, you got 67. Run and gun, you got 85. Fight club, you got 55. So again, remember, we're going to auto hide that guy. You got Killer Instinct 1 and 2. And uh, these they, ha they have it set up with the, uh, you know, with, with the easy shaders and glass effects. So... It, it truly is a, a work of art. Um, you know, if you want something plug and play ready to go, here you go. So here's consoles. Let me just go through the consoles really quick because that is probably the biggest uh, difference. Uh, now, as far as where Daphne, I don't know if Daphne's in consoles because, you know, technically it's not. So it's probably uh, somewhere else because um, remember they added the two Daphne enhanced games, but did want to show this. So uh, border down and... Some of the games will uh, will show you the system. Like Genesis has Genesis on this. But Comic Zone is a Genesis game, but it doesn't say Genesis. So just keep that in mind. You know, here we go to Dreamcast. This is the Nintendo, but really it's uh, Super Nintendo. I mean, it's, it's a Nintendo product, right? But people might think they don't know the game. It's got Doom. Earthworm Jim 1 and 2, F0. You got Flashback. And then here's your Game & Watch games. And as you see, these transitions are just really... Uh, what a great game right here. Okay, then you got Mario Kart 64, Mario Kart Double Dash, Marvel vs. Capcom 2, Mega Man X, X2, Ninja Warriors got pilot wings the original pilot wings um so a lot of older consoles then you got your soul caliber hd streets of rage bomberman so super mario 64 super mario world star wars return of the jedi you have tekken 5 Wave Race, Wild Guns, Zero Gunner, and then back to the beginning. Then you have all your games, your favorites, your last played. Now, um, so Space Ace and, um, oh, you can use the upper clickers, by the way, to, to move around. So space, let's go to S, and you can find your Space Ace. So you got Salamander, S. Sega Rally. So Sega Rally, there's a uh, Sega model game right there for you. So remember, you got the Sega model games added as well. The Simpsons. We're looking for SP. And you got your Soul Calibur here. Here you go, Space Ace, right? Space Ace, defender of justice, truth, and the planet Earth. Ace is being. And then the other game was da was uh, Dragon's Lair. So D. Let's head over to D. Got Dark Stalkers on her as well. Demon Front, what a game! All right, um, DR. We're trying to get down to DR. There you go. Dragon's Lair, 
a fantasy adventure where you become a valiant knight on a quest to rescue the fair princess from the clutches of an evil dragon. You control... All right. Let's do it. Um, so, arcade games, you got over 400. Really good games, by the way. Like, yeah, I mean, if you want something plug-and-play, like, CoinOps is amazing. Um, you know, I, it's, it's great. It's really, really good. Can't talk. Can't talk uh, much more. Much better than that. They're they're great. So let's go ahead and load a game here. Um, remember uh, to toggle a favorite. By the way, like let's say we're in arcades and we wanted to, um, you know, we went to Dragon's Lair or let's say Daytona. Hit start, and we just added that to our favorite now, right? We hit start again. It un un it unfavorited it. So it's easy to like. If you, there are certain games you like, you can just go to favorites. Okay. So let's um, let's do one more thing. Theme focus. Let's go ahead and go to the advanced configs. Playlist characters. Disable them, right? Playlist characters. Let's get rid of them. And then let's go ahead and change the theme as well. Uh, let's go ahead. We did the top horizontal when we when we when I started this video. We tried the marquee. Um, Let's try a bottom spinner uh, linear. Let's see how that, that looks. And we're going to go back to the genres. So there you go. You move up and down to go through the different consoles. And then you got your spinner here. And it's not fast because if you see it actually changes every single game. Every single video snap you can see. In the fast version, you're not. It'll stick to the one, the last video snap you clicked on, so it's a little faster. But uh, what I wanted to do was uh, try out this PlayStation 3 game. I played it many times before, but just to show you, like, you know, it's uh, it takes it takes a minute the first time you load the PS3 uh, emulator. Select aircraft. Oh no. All right, so there you have it. Coin Ops Legends 2 Max. So even more custom settings, even more games, latest and greatest, plug and play goodness. I'm digging it, but that's what I think. Let me know what y'all think. Ah. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I'll catch you on the next one. After I kill all these bugs. Okay, here we go. Oh, whoa. Rough. Abducted. Oh, shoot. I got captured. Oh, man. Now they're turning against me. Oh, but you get them back? And then you get two? That's awesome. Oh, there it goes. There goes my ship. 